Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through a continuation of our previous video where we looked at how we could split um, a data table into two data tables based off of a condition within one of the columns. So what we did earlier, we split this data table um, out by trucks. So basically trucks were in their own table, everything else in another, and then we split it by uh, vehicles that were 2000 or newer into their own table, everything else into another table. So now we're gonna get a bit more granular. We're gonna split the table based off of more than one condition. So previously we used the row splitter, the row splitter node, which um, is honestly very easy and straightforward to use once you understand how to use it. But we'll, we can't use the row, row splitter when we've got multiple conditions. So when we've got multiple conditions, what we've got to do is if you go into the node repository, you type in row splitter, you look for this rule-based row splitter. This row splitter node has more flexibility in it because you have to uh, provide the formula of how you want your table split. So what we're going to do, that's my little dog Leo, he's uh, feeling a little antsy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this node and we're basically going to outline the rule for how we want to split the table but if you take a glance at this you've got this expression window where we're going to type the formula and then you've got this list of different columns within our data table but then you also have these functions where within these functions you can see there is an and argument there's an in a like a matches an or You've got a lot more flexibility here with these functions than you do in the regular row splitter node. So anyways, let's look at what our goals are for today and then we'll get started. So the first goal is to take our data table and split off on their own any truck that is a Ford make. So basically we're in a match where the type is equal to truck and where the make is equal to Ford. And then after that, Leo, chill. After that, sorry about that guys, come on buddy, calm down. So after that, what we want to do is we're going to take all vehicles that are SUVs that are model year 2000 or newer and we're going to split them into their own table and then everything else is going to be in another table. So let's get started. So we're going to double click into the rule based row splitter node and we're going to get started. Um, with our setting up our formula. Um, just to reiterate on a point from last the last video, anything that matches true will go into the into the top output. And then whatever doesn't match is true will go into the bottom output. So keep that in mind. What we're gonna do is I usually like to take all this, delete it. So I've got a clean expression window. And what I'm gonna say, right? is I need column I need to make use of the columns and the functions what you can do is you don't have to actually type out the most of the argument or the formula you can actually double click either of these um, the columns or the functions and then they'll when you double click them they'll automatically pop up wherever the cursor is in the expression window All right so for our first goal I want to match trucks or yeah, let's let's match vehicle type equal to truck. So look at the cursor, it's in the expression window. Now I'll double click on the vehicle type and it brought the type column already into my window. So that takes out some of the work, right? So now what I want to do is when the type is equal to, right? So I'll do an equal sign and now I've got a string, so I've got to double quote it. Surround it with double quotes. So I want the type to match truck. Make sure you spell it exactly how it's spelled within the column. So I know it's got a capital T, so I've got to run with the capital T. So whenever the type is equal to truck, then I want the table to split off um, into its own. So we did that before with the row splitter, but now where the flexibility comes in with the rule-based row splitter is that now I can add a space and now I'm gonna double click this and to bring it into the expression window and now we're adding an additional condition so now we're saying that the type has to match truck and this additional rule we're about to set up so we're going to say type is equal to truck 
and we want it to match as well. We want it to match this Ford. So we're gonna say and, double click on make, brings it into the window, and we're gonna say make is equal to a double quote, and I'm gonna say Ford. So now our rule reads, type equal to truck and make equal to Ford. Whenever that's the, the case across the row, then that row is true. So the true is gonna go into the first into the top output table. As you can see down here, true matches go to the first output table. That's what it's the default selection is. We could make these true go to the bottom output or what they call the second output table. But I'm gonna run with the first just because it's the default. And um, I've already ingrained in my head that as long as you don't change this, the default true matches go to the top. All right, so now I'm gonna hit apply, I'm gonna hit okay and now we can execute the node. So right click and execute or hit F7. So now when we right click, you've got your first output and your second output. The first output is the top table, second output is the bottom table. Remember we have it set so that the top table is where we match true, where we set true to be whenever the make is forward and the type is truck. So now we'll take a look at that first output and we can see that now this table only has trucks that are model or make Ford. Sorry about that, make Ford type truck. So by default, the inverse is anything that isn't a make Ford and a type truck. So if we look at the bottom table or what didn't catch is true, we should see everything except Ford and truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two next to each other and I'll sort so we can see all the Ford next to each other. So now all the Ford values are either car or SUV, but you see there's no truck for Ford. So we filtered those out into their own table. So we've got our first goal down. So now you, you, we walked through how we can match um, on multiple or split the table on multiple conditions where both conditions here were strings. So the second goal will highlight how you can work with um, integers or or numbers within the rule based row splitter so not necessarily each one being a string so what we're gonna do is our second goal is to split all SUVs model year 2000 or newer into their own table so we already got the type in here so what I'm gonna do is delete this truck and I'm just gonna type in SUV because we want the type to match SUV so now the first part of our rule says when the type is equal to SUV, it's got this true output. But now we don't want this make to be Ford. We want the we want the second part of the rule to be whenever it's an SUV and we'll say the year, so double click year. And now we're gonna say is equal to, no, not equal to, I'm sorry. We want it 2000 or newer, right? So now we're gonna say whenever the year is greater than or equal to, and then we can do 2000. Now our rule is set. So whenever the type is equal to SUV and the year is greater than or equal to 2000, set that row as a true. And then we'll include all the true in the first output table. Um, so one thing that I did, I actually typed out the greater than or equal to. If I delete this, it's the same concept. You can come up here to the functions. You see I've got the greater than or equal to highlighted. If I double click it, it'll drop that, that same function into wherever my cursor was in the expression window. So there's less typing for you to do if you get used to just hitting the, um, double clicking the function and the column, um, the columns from the column list. I, I don't mind typing them in, you know, so that's why my default was to just type it in, but not to detract from the whole point. We've got a rule set type equal to SUV and the year 2000 or greater, set that as true, and we'll get all the true to go to the top table. So we'll hit apply, we'll hit okay, we'll hit okay, and we can execute. So now we should see the top table is gonna have everything that's an SUV model year 2000 or greater. So what we'll do is go to that first output, the top table. So now you can see all our types are SUV, so we're good on that end. And our model year, if we sort ascending 
our oldest model year is 2003. So we're good on 2000 and higher as well as SUV type. So by default, the inverse of that is everything else should be in the bottom table or the second output. I should actually zoom in for you guys on these. I'm sorry. I'm literally like <laughs> forgot I got to zoom in. So we've got now everything the inverse in the bottom table so we should see anything that's 2000 or higher let's sort descending so everything that's 2000 or higher is right here now let's see if there's any SUVs within there so what we can do is we can go row by row truck 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 car car truck truck car all trucks right so now you see that we matched but I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip or something I recently learned um, while playing around for one of my blog posts is that you can actually highlight all of these that you know are 2000 or newer and then you can right click on the row and select highlight selected so now you see how these change color because these are now highlighted all these rows right it's pretty cool but now what you can do is right click on one of the highlighted rows and filter to show highlighted only so now our table is only everything that's 2000 or newer. So now it makes it easier to sort this window ascending. We know SUV would be between the C and the T and it goes from a car to a truck. So there is no SUV. So it's another way to double check our work and it makes it easier, um, especially once you've got like huge tables and you want to take a quick look to double check and audit that you've got everything right you can highlight the actual output table and then filter by what you've highlighted and then you can always go back to the original output by right clicking on the row and then just do show all under the filter option and now we're back to the original data table and then you can unhighlight the same way right click on the row clear the highlight now you're back to your original table so quick little pro tip for you guys um, but as you can see we went through both of our goals and I showed you guys how we can split our data table based off of multiple conditions. Um, the same way you've had that we have this like in here, you can swap it out for an or. So anything that's an SUV or model year greater than or equal to 2000 would appear in the in the output table. Um, so there's flexibility to do all that. Um, let me just show you guys the output of that, right? So true matches. Oh, I didn't even execute. What a rookie. So let's look at that. So now we'll sort ascending. So we'll increase, increase, increase. So now you've got a model year 97 in here. But remember, we said model year 2000 or a type SUV. So if this is a model year 97, that means the type has to be SUV. And as you can see, it is. So then everything else is model year 2000. So then the type isn't relevant anymore because we set the rule as or, right? So you've got flexibility there. You can also go in here and say you want anything that's an SUV. And we can do, instead of being just an SUV, we can make it anything that matches our list. So to match a list, you use the in function. All right, and then you put your list between parentheses. And then the way you the way you separate items from within the list is a simple comma. So now we'll say anything that's a type SUV or a type car. Oh, you got to make sure I spell it exactly how it's spelled in there with um, the capitals being correct and everything or the the casing. So anything that's type car or SUV we're going to match as true and it's going to go in the top table so we'll hit apply hit ok hit ok we'll hit execute now let's look at that top table we shouldn't see any trucks in there so now if you look at the type let me zoom in a little bit so we'll do 15 font size and then we'll do row height 24 so now we can sort this type descending so SUV and then car so you can see we match everything within the list so there's like great flexibility within this node to split your data tables through multiple ways uh, like always if you guys have any questions 
just drop it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, let me know if the video was uh, useful and then what you want to see in the future as well. And don't forget to like, don't forget to share the video with your buddies, and then subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos I'm dropping. Like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.